This is the most accurate video I have ever seen of the end of life breathing called chain stokes breathing. So chain stokes breathing is a type of breath that happens at the very, very end of life, usually during what I call the actively dying phase, which I talk about all the time. So what is chain stokes breathing? Why does it seem so scary? It seems so scary because it looks so much different than what we're used to seeing someone breathe like. Chain stokes breathing can be categorized as long, deep breaths, followed by a long pause, then long deep breaths followed by a long pause. People see this, they automatically think the person is suffering or it feels like they can't breathe when in reality, especially if someone's on hospice and experiencing this breath, it's a total normal part of death and dying and to be expected. So I found this video on YouTube. This is not my patient. I want you to watch this video and notice how the person is breathing and then pausing for a long time and then breathing again. So the video can feel a little long because they, they pause that breath for quite some time, but I want you to stick with it because I want you to see the breathing after the long pause so you can see the pattern in the breath. So trigger warning, here is the video and then we'll come back and discuss it. So thank you for watching that video. It's a perfect example of chain stokes breathing. You could see that kind of rapid breath with the long pause, rapid breath, long pause. This can go on usually only for a few hours. This tells me the person is dying, I would say that day. Every once in a while, someone can hang on for a day or so with that type of breath, but it's very, very uncommon. You will always see someone fully unconscious when they are breathing like this. And remember, I am specifically talking about patients who are on hospice who are dying a natural death. So what's happening? The reason why this is happening is because there are metabolic and physiologic changes that are happening in the body and the blood chemistry that are causing these changes in breathing. How do we know it's not affecting the person that they're not struggling? We know this by nonverbal cues the patient is giving us. We saw in that video that patient looked very relaxed. When someone is struggling to breathe or feeling like they can't breathe, they will not look like that. They will look panicked, they will have grimacing, they will be restless, they will be agitated. We know this just from being in the medical profession and through experience. I like to show these videos because so many times my followers will write into me and say, my father struggled at the end of life and then they'll describe what they saw and why they think their father struggled. I know what they're describing is just the end of life breathing that we see with everybody. They just don't know that it's normal. So they automatically assume their loved one struggled. That's why I think it's so important to show actual videos so people can see the video, have a healthcare professional explain to them why it's happening and how it's a normal part of death and dying. It doesn't necessarily mean your loved one's struggling. So the second video was sent to me by a follower. I have been given written and verbal permission that it is okay to show this video. I think it's really important to show because it's a great example again of end of life breathing. So there's different types of breath that you can see at the end of life. One is the chain stokes breathing. One is just very long pauses between breath. Another one is agonal breathing or fish out of water breathing. And that's what this video shows. A really great example of agonal breathing. Trigger warning, here is the video. Watch. Come back and we'll discuss. I think he's, he's already gone. It's just the, the body reflexes at this point. So in that video, you can see three different things. One, how he's breathing, which is called agonal breathing. It's literally the very, very last type of breath. I would say this person likely died a few minutes, maybe a few hours once you start seeing that kind of breath. It's not really even a full breath. It's more of a reflex that happens in the body at the very, very end of life. Also, just on a side note, you'll see that his mouth was open. Very common at the end of life because like I tell you, the muscles all relax at the end of life and it takes a lot of muscles to keep your jaw shut. So they start relaxing and you'll have that open jaw like you saw in the video. The last thing I want to talk about are his eyes. 
At the end of life, most people will have either both eyes, one eyes, fully open or partially open. Why? Because it takes muscles to keep the eyes shut. So the person is likely very unconscious and their eyes are so relaxed that they can't keep them shut. So their eyes will either be fully open, partially open. Sometimes one is open and one is not. It just depends on the person. They're not suffering. It's normal. It's just because they're fully relaxed. For a long time, seeing these things have only been for people who are working in the medical profession, you know, in medical school or in nursing school. However, I think the general public should be able to see these things to help prepare themselves so we all know what death and dying can look like. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope these videos can help decrease fear by increasing your knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe for more death and dying information.